My name is Rosemary, and today we're going to be reading from a book called Is It Christmas? Written by John Prater and illustrated by John K. Prater. If you have the book, why not read it with me? Is it Christmas? asked Baby Bear early one morning. No, not yet, said Grind Bear. But after two more sleeps, it will be. Baby Bear finished breakfast and bounced downstairs to help Grand Bear. On the mat were lots of cards. They opened them up and hung them on ribbons. Then Baby Bear made lovely cards to send to all their family and friends. They scrubbed and polished the whole house. Baby Bear was a great help. Then they baked lots of biscuits and cakes. Why are we making so many? asked Baby Bear. Therefore, our special Christmas visitors, said Grand Bear. What a busy day. Soon it was bedtime again. Christmas, asked Baby Bear early the next morning. Are our visitors here? Soon, said Grand Bear. After one more sleep, it will be Christmas and they'll be here. We're going to bring in the tree today, said Grand Bear. A tree inside the house, laughed Baby Bear. Of course, said Grand Bear our Christmas tree. But when they opened the door, they both gasped. It's all white, shouted Baby Bear. I thought it might snow, said Grand Bear. Wow, said Baby Bear, running outside, making big footprints in the snow and catching the snowflakes. Grand Bear joined in the fun. They threw snowballs at each other. Grand Bear seemed to miss every time, but Baby Bear didn't. Then they rolled some very big snowballs and made a jolly snow bear. Bear. Baby Bear got a lift to the top of the hill and a ride all the way down. Whee! Now then, let's find our Christmas tree, said Grand Bear. This one, asked, this one, asked Baby Bear. That's too big, said Grand Bear. This one, asked Baby Bear. That's much too small, said Grand Bear. But this one is just right. So Grand Bear dug it up and carried it home, wondering why it was so heavy. But Baby Bear was hanging on the back of a tree. Grand Bear dragged the tree inside. Baby Bear helped to plant it in a great big pot. Do we climb up it now, said Baby Bear. No, we do something that's better than that, said Grand Bear. We decorate it. They decorated the tree from top to bottom and then the rest of the room. Wow, said Baby Bear. There's just one more thing, said Grand Bear. The lights. Woo, said Baby Bear. They're like twinkling stars. It all looks so wonderful, but Baby Bear didn't want to come to the table for dinner. So they sat by the tree and had a cosy picnic. It's Christmas tomorrow, said Grand Bear and our special visitors will be here. That's nice, yawned Baby Bear sleepily. Just one more sleep, whispered Grand Bear. Later that night, where well, Baby Bear slept, someone left presents under the Christmas tree. Is it Christmas? asked Baby Bear next, early the next morning. Yes, it is said Grand Bear. Yippee! shouted Baby Bear. There was
was a loud knock on the front door. Listen, they're here, said Brown to Bear. Who, said Baby Bear. They are special visitors. Who, asked Baby Bear again. The whole family, said Grand Bear. Happy Christmas, Baby Bear, they shouted. Happy Christmas, everyone, said Baby Bear.